Kennedy's with Tracy Kennedy. Thanks for dropping in on me today. Um, I have to pre-warn you, I may need a couple extra breaks today. I have that scratchy throat again. The news is um, the crazy pants once again. We have to look back to Confucius for a moment. He said signs and symbols rule this world. Not words, not laws. False flags, newer term, often describe covert operations designed to deceive in such a way that the operations appear as if or as though they've been carried out by individuals entities, groups, or nations other than by those who actually planned and executed those moves. The strategy of tension is basically a concept for control and manipulation of the public through opinion, through use of fear, propaganda, agent prov provocateurs, terrorism, etc. The aim is to instill fear into the populace while framing political and targeted opponents and groups for terrorist activities and atrocities. In America, like all of the planet now, but America is very important, just like the Bible is very important to us right now. Don't worry, it'll make sense in a minute, because all the signs and symbols of false flags and strategies of tension are there to see if your eyes aren't wide shut. Just as we were beginning to learn about the signs and symbols of August 26, 2015, made for mass consumption, strategy of tension, assassination of reporters Allison Parker, and cameraman Adam Ward by an alleged shooter, 41-year-old Vester Lee Flanagan III, another black Manchurian candidate, by the way, and suddenly unleashed for yet another sensationalized, wicked, bloodthirsty false flag operation. I'm going to be calling this Operation Go Forth because black lives will never matter to these people. In fact, since July 13th, 2015, Sandra Bland, that strategy of tension operation, broke out on the global scene. There has been about four CIA MKUltra Manchurian candidates, three people of color candidates unleashed in some very special operations to distract and divert public attention and influence and manufacture public consensus. And lo and behold, when citizen investigative journalists widely began to expose this problematic deceptive signs and symbols of all the videos coming out of Waller County of Sandra Bland to prove that she was alive when her mug shots were taken, had been edited, manufactured and rendered unauthorized, unauthenticated by the deliberate deletion of video evidence, time stamps, date stamps, Manchurian candidate once again suddenly unleashed. Quietly, in the background, something that I've been telling you for a very long time is about to be released. I'm sure you won't hear it in mainstream media. Probably I'll be the only one to tell you this. There's a very small group of people, Métis in Gaspé, and of course I, I have this article on the page. The preliminary DNA tests have authenticated a story that I've told you that here on this continent were people of all colors 
and that we for a very long time lived here. Their DNA, and I will continue to keep you up to date on this, this DNA is proving that their Viking and French DNA was here for 2,000 years. Viking and French, most likely from Paris, Paris that had been a Roman city. Then um, Romans got their butts kicked out of there around the time that Europe was fighting for their freedom against the Roman enslavement. These people, looking actually very Roman and French, well not Roman, but Viking and French, and Métis, so mixed. We at this point are saying that they're just French and native, but that isn't close enough. 2,000 year DNA, 2,000 year old DNA, proving that we lived here together as a people way, way, way before Colombo ever got his nasty little commission to sail the seven seas. When did the enslavement happen? When was the big change? This is a question. I'll tell you one sign of it. Because I need to tell you four things that you probably don't know, but the descendants of the Cherokee's black slaves. Now, as I've told you before, on this continent, the natives of all tribes and their names, there are no Cherokee. I know we use that word, but it, it's complicated. Speak to someone who actually knows anything about their history and their peoples. They will say they're not Cherokee. That's a blasphemous name. Salagi, there's many different tribes, but anyway. The natives here had white slaves first. Before that, other natives, of course. Um, but this was usually because of war and taken as prisoner, and then you can become part of the tribe after a certain amount of time. Rules changed here, too, on this continent. So the black slaves, descendants of them, are unhappy. In fact, they've sued the Cherokee Nation that enslaved them and freed their ancestors, only to be kicked out a century later. On Saturday, they'll be gathering in um, Tulsa, Oklahoma, to prepare for next month's court proceedings. Here's what they want be recognized once again as part of the great Cherokee Nation. Are you confused? Well, you're not alone. The group, known as the Freedmen, have been fighting the Cherokee government for citizenship since it was revoked in the 80s on the basis they lacked proof of native blood. And a government infiltration of the recognized Cherokee people who had been taken over by the government just like this always happens all over the planet. Around 3,000 reservation residents claim lineage from blacks once enslaved by the Cherokee and had rights. Here's what you need to know. There were thousands of slaves, actually. It wasn't just the Cherokee. Of course, many members of the five civilized tribes. And you know when Europeans call you civilized, somebody sold out. So, we've got Cherokee, we've got Choctaw, we've got Chickawas, we've got Creeks, we got got um, Seminoles. All of them had slaves though the biggest group, the richest group, the most educated group were the Cherokee. By 1860 the tribe had almost 5,000 enslaved blacks alone 
under their dominion, owned mainly by a minority of elite members, which happens everywhere on the planet. Who's going to, you know, we need chickens and, and animals and land. We don't have this money. Know that this, again, once an elite group, also known as the Red Hand, which we've talked to you about. This is Freemasonic. Always goes back to Freemasons again. Now, beginning in the late 18th century, white leaders encouraged the tribe to adopt the practice in order to facilitate large-scale agricultural production and their assimilation into the white way of doing things. 1827. The Cherokee created a slave code virtually indistinguishable from that of their white southern plantation owners. The document explicitly barred slaves and their descendants, including those of mixed race, from owning anything, property, money, drinking alcohol, or marrying into the tribe. Blacks were categorically disenfranchised, even if they were free or partially Cherokee. During their removal in the 1830s, 2,000 slaves were forced to march westward. With their masters on the Trail of Tears, the tribe eventually settled in what is now Oklahoma. Their new nation prospered largely because of slave labor. So when Lincoln threatened the practice of slavery at the start of Civil War, the slave-dependent Cherokee pledged allegiance to the Confederacy. So in a nutshell, they want to be reinstated as rightful members of the Cherokee tribe. 1866, after the Civil War, the Cherokee agreed, but they were forced to do this. We need to recognize that. So agreed is a, a nicer term for what actually happened. They granted full tribal citizenship to all free slaves and their descendants in the wake of the Cherokee Emancipation Proclamation. The tribe's newest members became known as freedmen. Freedmen's rights were not easily won. The Cherokee became possessive and restricted the divisions of their assets. The U.S. government was able to overrule their efforts to shut out the freedmen. They were trying to shut them out of the land and financial allocations, but nearly a century later, all the process was completely reversed. Now, Ross O. Swimmer, a chief of the Cherokee Nation, issued an executive order, 1983, requiring all citizens have a certificate of degree of Indian blood in order to vote. The certificates were based on Da's roles, a tribal consensus taken between 1899 and 1906. At the time, mixed blood Cherokees were treated as full members, while freedmen were listed separately still, regardless of any native ancestry. Following Swimmer's Declaration, 1983, 25,000 freedmen descendants were cut off from their heritage, initiating a racially heated rumpus that's going on to this day. Now, this is not all Cherokee people. Definitely not our brother, Chief Charles Tudog. This is what happens when you're taken over. Your mind, your soul. This is what's happening on this planet. You know, I hear people talk about this enlightenment, and of course they want to talk about the X-wave. <sighs> really? 
because I looked at the news today and it's I'm thinking the F word. Feel it with me now. <laughs> horrific. It's horrific. A 12 week old puppy was just found with their hand or their, their paws and head bound left on the side of a road. Cops beat up a 12 year old girl almost to death saying she must have been a prostitute. She was standing in front of her house. She is an actress. She is well known. Children who have been stolen from their families here in Canada are kicked out on the street when they're 18, whether or not they have a place to go. Doesn't matter. 18, you're gone. It's called aging out. A beautiful, terrified dolphin jumped out of the water onto the shore to try to escape the horrific things happening in Japan right now. There's still a debate whether or not these are intelligent beings. I'm here to tell you their brain structure means they're smarter than us. And they do have hands. That's what them little fins are for and that's why they still have fingers. Look at them. Look at their brains. As a matter of fact, they grew this sonar thing. They didn't always have that. They grew it. Way smarter than us. Their brains are bigger. They're far more connected neurologically. We're sitting in a place where there is a virus warning right now just for the back to school. You know, I was a, a hairdresser for re years and the one thing that you always knew about September is the back to school brought, brought viruses. But this virus disguises itself as a allergy. Except it's killing kids. And it's all across the United States. Of course, bubonic plague which, you know, the United States government is now saying, yeah, we may have mishandled some of that. It's just taken its 14th victim. By the way, it's killing men twice at the twice the rate it's killing women. We are killing our animals in gas chambers because we want puppies, but we don't want dogs. After years of lying, years of lying, U.S. Army has completely confirmed dangerous radioactive pollution present in St. Louis County in Missouri because of the Manhattan Project that I've told you about. Tons, tons of waste from the experiments has been buried there in a creek near St. Louis, contaminating the water table and everyone who lives in that area. These are not accidental things. This is not a random event. The Navy agrees by, by the way to limit Pacific training which has been slaughtering marine life. Slaughtering them. Signs and wonders. <laughs> Let me talk about this year because we have to go into this. This year, as we have said before, is the year of the Great Crossing. This is the year of the Lord of Light. This is the year that the great work is completed. And I have a wonderful video up there if you have time later. This is the year of Lucifer. This is the opening of the 9-11 gate, which I'm going to get into. This is the Rainbow Bridge. This is why there's certain events coming on. The opening of the 9-11 door 
scheduled to open in stages from your 4th of July and several hitting times leading up to it being thrown open September 23rd 2015 this is the day when Pope Francis and Barack Obama the bear lions and tigers and bears and dragons oh my because <laughs> he was just on Bear Gillis eating do you know that one that that adventure show I'm, I'm forgetting the name right now and ate a piece of a salmon that a bear ate this is a ritual it is an ancient ritual used in every single culture I've ever even heard of you exchanging your DNA of course with the salmon but with the bear more importantly and even said this is the time when the bears will rise I'm going to find you that clip. I know I have it somewhere. Now, the Pope and Obama will meet together at the White House. 9-11 points to the 10th day of the year of Lucifer. Oh, yes. We could call this hashtag thisisnotjesus.com or something close to that. We'll think of something clever. Because this is not the year of your enlightenment, people. <laughs> you are not going to transcend. People are not freaking transcending. There's no transcending. People are getting bloody and nasty and ridiculous. In Toronto, in Toronto, and I realize this is not this beautiful place where things are just fun and we all get along and we're all going to sing kumbaya. It's kind of like that. But it's not perfect. It's not perfectly like that. We have flyers going around promoting a white students union. People tore that shit down. Because it looks like a welcome to the Nazi organization poster. We have beautiful, once beautiful Alberta that you can, it looks like Mordor. Where's my nerds at? High five. <laughs> it looks like freaking Mordor. It does. Right now. Of course, this is about September 11th. Again, Shemitah year. When chaos was unleashed. And the world underwent systematic restructuring. It takes time. It took 14 years, which is two sevens. Sevens are important. To many tribes, even, you know, when my dad came on, what did he say? You're the seventh of a seventh. It's important in every culture because it's a little bit voodoo. We'll talk about that. This is the crossing date, though. The anticipated time of the great illumination. Now I know many of our brothers and sisters are saying this about Jesus. Tracy, you're missing what about Jesus? I <laughs> don't know. But 9-11 is when Lucifer himself crashes through the gate. the structure of those towers the number 1776 this was supposed to be the capping of the pyramid that's why they used that it's the jewel from Satan's crown that slammed into earth we have stories of this all over the world these are events and it's not a rumor you know the World Trade Center was specifically designed to be the replica of Kaaba in Mecca. Islam's most holy space, you would think. But the Kaaba 
is way older than Islam. It was the temple of Shiva. It is Saturn's cube. Shiva is Cernimus. Cern. These things are all linking up with us. And the rainbows and the images, which we will go over because I have some pictures. We've talked about the house of Saad. The Saudi families are the brotherhood. The Saudi families made the crane. But if you look at the images I've put up for you, tell me this is not the rod of God weapon that I told you guys about. Because it looks exactly like that. And for the year of the crossing, it was just nailed because the Delta State shooting happened on the 33rd parallel the blood sacrifice line and you can watch that video um, put it up yesterday they had it at highway 1 and highway 8 it's the proposed crossroads bluesman Robert Johnson made a deal with Papa Legba Crossroads are where you make the deal. Your soul is what's for trade. Bluesman Robert Johnson was just a mythical person. But we can go back into the blues history and the voodoo history of making a deal because we've played many musicians who say they have made a deal. The deal with the guy. Who's the guy? Is that Jesus? <laughs> Apparently, if you want to sing, you go to the Lords of Light. You want to sing, you go to the Lords of the Dance and the Lords of, Lords of the Music or the God L. You go to the Cube, you go to the Crossroads, and you make a deal. The deal has just been made. Absolutely made. Now, understanding this great year, this galactic astrology as astrology, AZ, Alpha, Omega, first and the last, this great year, to understand the present galactic alignment in terms of present end time disaster, elite plants. And I have a really cool picture up there that it's, it's way easier to follow me with pictures, so feel free to look at the pictures. It's pretty cool. It's on um, the main page as soon as you get there, and I'm very close to closing enough windows so I can actually post these things. So, this is the Aztec Sunstone. Mesoamerican. which isn't exactly their full story. We'll get into that. This is biblical and other prophecies of disastrous ends. Return to good. All connected to one priestly knowledge of a galactic cycle. And what's up there is a chart for December 2016. Which is important. Each December the Sun and the other heavenly bodies transit over the galactic alignment. The gal galactic alignment. Only once in a great year did the galactic center and the winter solstice align. Omega 9-11-2001 marked the beginning of Pluto transit over the galactic alignment. This was the beginning of the wave. 2016 marks the end of Saturn's transit over the galactic alignment. Now, galactic center, the galactic alignment, this present window of time, 2001-2020. Now the Alpha 
is the motion of the signs in a clockwise direction against the constellation backdrop means we are entering at the present into the age of the great goat Capricorn Pan Pandemonium Panic Pancakes which are not <laughs> This is also the green man This is Cain This is this is the guy. This is the Lord of the world. This is him. And again, hashtag, this is not Jesus.com. <laughs> okay, got me. Now, so first, we're explaining the present transition of ages we are in between 2001 and 2020, which is also. I think not accidentally one cycle of the nodes of the moon since 9-11 first Pluto played its role in the galactic alignment and Saturn opposed as the Iraq war broke out now Saturn would will conjunct the galactic alignment by moving into the sign in which the galactic center is presently placed Sagittarius now, this September, this one we are in right now, and then moving over the galactic center, well in conjunction with the sun, each December, as a new great year and a new age of Capricorn, the goat, is beginning. Does that sound like Jesus? <laughs> Not Jesus.com. So Saturn seventh planet conjuncts the sun galactic center winter solstice that marks the beginning of Saturn's rule the marker for the great disaster the great transition the reaping of the transition from the great summer to the great winter of the northern hemisphere it's targeted at us and we are taking pictures of rainbows everywhere at night now the seventh planet well this could be accompanied by a galactically caused solar event that will in turn cause the earth's magnetic poles to flip already started certainly Saturn's entry into the game is likely to intensify what we have been experiencing in the last couple of years the battle for the world the battle for the souls of the world the war on terror world domination new world order economic collapse world war three which you know all of those things I think Economic collapse, they need money. That's how they control us. But World War Three never really started. Too bloody. Too bloody. Extreme climate shifts? Oh my God, yes. I really don't know what to even hope for anymore. To be wrong would be great if the world was right. But it seems that the purification must and has already begun. Because they've already opened the portal. They have. CERN said that they were going to open portals. They were pretty darn clear on this. And I am going to find my links because I put them up so they'd be here handy. But of course, are they handy? Hell no. <laughs> okay, signs and wonders. Let's start there. And excuse me while I just ramble on, guys. I'm trying to get into a couple of the rooms so I can actually post these links this time so you can actually, actually see everything. 
because that's important. I want you to see these pictures. Okay. Double rainbow. Ba bam. Here we go. Double rainbow. Now, signs and wonders, double eclipse, September 13th. It takes three days. The portal opened on the 10th. Well, they reached 13 Tev in CERN on the 10th. It takes three days because three is an ancient number. You need three. It has to be three. So September 13th, NASA's Solar Dynamics, SDO, kept up its constant watch on the sun. Its view photobombed, not once, but twice. Just as the moon came into SOD's view on a path across to the sun, the Earth entered the picture, blocking the view completely. When SOD's orbit finally emerged from below the Earth, the moon was just completing its journey across the face of the sun. So, though SOD sees dozens of Earth ellipses, and several lunar transits every year. This one, this is the first time the two have ever coincided perfectly. SOD's orbit usually gives us an unobstructed view of the Sun, but the Earth's um, revolution around the Sun means this orbit passes Earth or behind Earth twice a year for two or three weeks at a time. During these phases, the Earth blocks the view of the Sun for any time from a minute to an hour every day. The Earth's outline always looks fuzzy. The Moon becomes clear like crystal. This is because the planet itself completely blocks the Sun's light. The Earth's atmosphere is an incomplete barrier, blocking different amounts of light at different altitudes. However, the Sun well, the moon had no atmosphere. I would like to correct this article saying, yes, it does have an atmosphere. And I will find you that link. I have it on my page somewhere. It actually has an atmosphere now. Why? Eh, I don't know. <laughs> it, it does. Now, you can see the, the video, but it's, it's pretty. It's about the ELU. So this is the 29th ELU. So as last month, as the last month of the Jewish year, ELU is traditionally a time of introspection, stock taking, a time to review one's deeds, spiritual progress over the year, prepare for the coming days of awe. Awe. I wish it was, ah, oh, that was so cute. So, ah, oh, as in, oh my God, the heck was that? You know, more West Coast marine life, freaking climate disaster out there. Thousands of pink salmon, which I love. Just dying. Tragedy unfolding again. As um, a polygamist said, with H dead, five missing after a flash flood, flash away vehicles, Utah, Arizona border. See, I'm not, I'm not seeing, <laughs> I'm not feeling the love right now. I'm not seeing the great beauty. I'm not seeing us taking care of our brothers and sisters. And we better, because the northing, which I've told you about for years, is happening right now. So, double eclipse 
on the 13th. Tragedies. Death. Floods threatening Fukushima. Plant structures. Nuclear nightmare. Territory again. A lot of nuclear fuel has gone into the ground, will come out of its surface, going on right now, and the Georgia Guidestones don't have anything written in Japanese. Countless dead birds reported off the Pacific of the U.S. coast. Nothing will eat their bodies, by the way. Nothing. There are no seals there. The fish are not there. All of them are starving. The animals acting weird, sick, weak, some too weak to fly, some too weak to run. And it's all right there in front of you, you know, if you have the eyes to see, which I know you do. We'll go over this, too, because I have so much stuff today. Here we go. Actually posting stuff. Now. Hitler said, make a lie big. Keep it simple. Keep saying it. Eventually, they will believe it. Albert Einstein said, the world will not be destroyed by those who do evil, but by those who watch them without doing anything. There will be signs in the sun, in the moon, in the stars. The earth will dismay. And for those around us, especially following all the Kabbalistic disciplines, these past three days have now become placed in their proper order. with the precedented 14-year signs, having shown, interpreted, the path to follow. Has to be 14 years, too. That's two sevens. As one disciple explains, being a multiple of seven, 14 partakes of its importance. And I want you to see this, because I want you to see the double rainbows. And we're going to go into this. And being the double of that number implies a double measure. They look at it as spiritual perfection, but I am not a big rainbow fan. I like the rainbow. I like... I am, and I'm not. The number two, with which is combined, two times seven, also brings its own significance into the meeting here. Matthew 1, where the genealogy of Jesus is divided up, taken in sets of 14, 2 times 7 generations, meaning two signs of importance, significance will manifest, where there will be one and the other. There will be a bridge. There will be two bridges. There are always two bridges. But also one for each seven-year period. You must understand, of course, that according to this, an event, especially those of world importance, must be understood after 14 years of signs that are ma manifested. In this particular case was the 11th September 2001, 9-11, the attacks, and the 14-year anniversary. It's been predicted by many that it would occur. First being was a double rainbow sign over destroyed World War um, World Towers, New York City, September 10th. September 10th when they started kicking CERN up. And I mostly want you to look at these ones so you can see the image. 
because this is a divine declaration of judgment here. The one world rainbow, the Mecca crane. For thus says the Lord of hosts, once more in a little while I am going to shake the heaven and the earth the sea and also the dry land I will shake all the nations and they will come with the wealth of all the nations and I will fill this house with glory sounds awesome right for you for you is this a happy thought seriously this God that they're presenting you with and there are images now this is from let me see what's it called did CERN see another dimension today yesterday from yesterday US Army plaguing or admitting misplacing black plague samples how many times did that happen humans and this is more rise of the machine because this is all part of this thing will have cloud connected hybrid brains by 2030 they're going for the slow kill 2.8 million people in Japan have having to evacuate now again I really need you to see and look at this sign this oculus because they say this looks like an all-seeing eye yeah yeah that that piece was from Socha Socha Fall Wiz I know she gets she gets a little uh, crazy pants but they're talking about they're talking about this the play the Bible this is the stuff that this is the stuff it was written to come true now look at this oculus this all-seeing eye at ground zero and tell me this does not look like somebody sitting with their legs open they're saying that looked like an eye Ground Zero, 9-11. This looks like a birth. A bony, closed eye structure. That is not an eye. I don't know if these are people who have never had sex before. With women. But I know what that looks like. <laughs> this structure called the oculus. which the all-seeing eye may just be put in the wrong way and should be tilted the other way and it's that's what it is it's a great big vagina now erected and rebuilt over the World Trade Center transport hub overlooks the new ground zero at a cost well over budget four billion dollars the oculus neo-futuristic design it's referred to as a living structure. Awesome. It's changing its behavior. This is what they say. It's changing its behavior and it gets more and more complicated. A facade consultation on the Oculus saying it's like a living creature. It's evolving. It's morphing. Because it's receiving a skin. Do you guys remember that scary story I told you a couple years ago but this house that was built that seems to be rebuilding itself I know that um, there was a movie made out of it pretty good one too I think it was from the 80s another Stephen King adaptation um, Red Rose but this place it's so scary and it rebuilds itself but that story is made after a thing that's supposed to actually have happened. Now, across the middle of the eye, 
is a 355 foot long <laughs> skylight. The eye is normally closed and it only opens once a year on very specific day for a very specific amount of time. Guess when? September 11th. The skylight opened to the elements for 102 minutes. That is how long the 2001 terrorist attack lasted. Precisely 102 minutes from the time that the first jetliner hit to this collapse of the second tower. Precise for a random event, no? So. The only thing worth fighting for. The only thing worth fighting for. As a matter of fact, I think that's who we're about to meet. Yeah, yeah, Vudan. <laughs> Vudan Voodoo. Veve. That's who just got let in. And a bunch of guys are worshipping a vagina. They need to get laid, that is not an eye. <laughs> So the eve of September 11th, 9-11 is the gate I've been telling you about, the 1X, X1, a stunning double rainbow appeared, New York City, I have pictures, and appeared to be shining directly upon the One World Trade Center, following day a crane struck by lightning in Mecca killing over a hundred Muslims. Eleven days prior to Hajj. You would think this is all about a judgment on Islam. This is not an Islamic temple. Proof of that? Look at my page. I think it's the first one you'll see if you go to the page. This is the temple of Shiva. This is an entirely different sentence that's been laid out. As a matter of fact, it's all about Shiva. Your religions are about Shiva. This is Brahma. Abraham is Brahma. Same guys. These are all the family again. Now a crane that is owned by the Saad families, so Bin Laden's very rich people who don't give even one shit about their people who are dying right now and causing it and working with the Americans and the British and you know the usual fan families on this same 9-11 there was a vote to raise the Palestinian flag at the UN which passed with 119 votes so 9-11 again Canada did not vote for that, of course, because we will do whatever we're told to do. To many, these events would seem entirely unrelated, but not to my magnificent listeners, because you are too smart to have these things pulled over you. We know this is more than of scant significance. This position and not attending to it would be a mistake. There is much to be understood here and I believe you will agree as we go through these events. Let's go to Isaiah 9.10. Later we're going to be going to Genesis 9.11 and then Revelations 9-11 and he's going to show you who dad just sang to who just arrived on the scene <laughs> oh my god so Isaiah 
We will replace a broken bricks of our ruins with a crushed, finished stone and replant the felled sycamorphic trees with cedar. The verse served as a foundation for the Jonathan Kahn's book, The Harbinger and the Mystery of the Shemitah. It's interestingly found in 910 of Isaiah the day the symbol of God's covenant was raining down on the very structure of United States rebuilt. Genesis 9-11 References the rainbow. Yes, I am confirming my covenant with you. Never again will the flood waters kill all living creatures. Never again will the flood destroy the earth. Is that right? Who is this God? Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of either side, really. <laughs> not walking down the middle. Not playing. So the symbol of God's covenant with humanity. God. So is this Goot or Good? Or is this Yah? If this is Yah, we'll get to him in a minute. Anyway. Covenant with humanity, a coven. Hmm. In the face of judgment, having been recently hijacked to symbolize pride, gay pride, <laughs> and rebellion against this Yah's God law. Now, prior to the beginning of judgment, we are reminded who is in control of all of that transpires as his simple highlights human bravado, frailty of 7 4, so 11, 7 plus 4, days after it hijacked by sodomites. Interesting. We're going to be talking about sodomites on Thursday. Sodomites who have taken over the world. You know, the cross dressing pedophiles who have reached into everything. But anyway, within weeks, the mystery Babylon will fall. New World Order, Tower of Babel will rise. This covenant apparently remains with whatever this beast is that we made a deal with. And again, I think that deal was not a long time ago, they said. If these people in Gas Bay prove that they are French and Viking from 2,000 years ago here on this continent, well, I'm backed up. And everything the natives have been telling us that we lived in peace. Everything that I've been showing you that this world had peace until recently. This could prove it. One event. Twelve people. Twelve people can prove this world is not what we have been told. That this hellishness, this slavery of each other, this kneeling at the master's table is not ancient. It is new and we are not these people. The One World Trade Center bears the date of America's founding standing 1776 feet high. The building which was rebuilt in the formidable pride of America, invincibility, bears the name of the one world government. Shiva, again, will soon be ushered in one day after the rainbow symbolizing God's covenant with the one world trade center had its tribute of light to honor the memory of those who lost their life. 2001 accidents because there's nothing like repeating horror over and over and over again never forget really really I think you should you know although we go back to what we were told by one of the guys who worked for the New World Order, 
that, you know, say something over and over again and simple, make it a mantra, people start believing you. Slavery, you need to get over that. Imperialism, get over it. Exploitation, absolutely get over it. World starvation, get over it. Genocide, get over it. Occupation, get over 9-11. Never forget why. Why? There were more people killed last week than there in one city. What is this tribute of light? What is this year of light? This Anna Lucius? The days after the Dow dropped 239 points in America's 239th year, the symbol of the covenant on the cusp of judgment? I'm saying is not. You don't need to pull down my pants and spank me, although, you know, it might be a good idea. To, I, I'm getting the clue, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Two beams of light projected into the heavens, symbolic of man's ability to overcome while simultaneously connecting us to Anna Lucius. International Year of Light. The return of the Light Lords, the Lords of Light, the Lucius or Lucifer, means light bringer or light bearer. And the official, the official International Year of Light began yesterday, September 14th, the day after Elu 29. And I'm probably not pronouncing that right. Right, it's E L U L. And today, the 15th, it's the 15th, right? Today, the 15th, Jade. And officially, and and they have just come up with an idea for um, neural programming for her. By the way, we'll talk about that soon. Soon, I've got lots of news. Anyway, after 119 members voted, well, member nations, of course. Voted on 9-11 to raise the Palestinian flag at the UN, a crane was struck by lightning. Collapse killing 107 Muslims at Mecca. The epicenter of Islam, 11 days prior to Hajj. The pilgrimage. According to BBC, the collapse happened around 1423 GMT. 14 years after the attack, September 11, 2001, 23 minutes past the hour connecting us to September 23 again. Interestingly, it was 523 local time Mecca when the crane collapsed. It was 523 local time New York City when the UN took the vote on 910. I'm not saying these events occurred at the exact same time. I'm saying it's interesting. Daniel 9 10 to 11 We have not obeyed the Lord our God. We have not followed the instructions he gave to us through his servants and prophets. I'm going to um, interrupt Daniel to remind you that this God said nothing about stopping slavery, said nothing about stopping rape, said nothing about stopping pedophilia. He did have a problem with mixed fabrics and shellfish. But back to Daniel. All Israel has disobeyed your instructions and turned away, refusing to listen to your voice. So now the solemn curses and the judgments written in the law of Moses the servant of God had been poured down on us because of our sin. Moses, who you can look up on my site and see pictures of Moses with the horns all the time. Revelation 9-11 Their king is the angel from the bottomless pit. 
His name is Abandon. In Greek, Apollyon. He is the destroyer in the words in the scripture with numeric value of 9-11. There are 35 in total. 11 Hebrew. 24 Greek. Now, all the words with exact numeric value of 9-11 from the oldest text I can get. Maybe not important, and I will butcher these words. But I can tell you where they are. Genesis 10.10 10. Genesis 45.7 Leviticus 14.6 Well, actually I can give you the English translation. It's not... That doesn't suck so bad. English I, English I can do, which it probably means I, I swear really well. But you guys know that. So Genesis 10.10 10, Beginning Genesis 45.7 Remnant Leviticus 14.6 Scarlet, Samuel, 314, Betroth, Possess, I'm not this, sure which this one is. Second, oh, Corinthians, Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 27, 2 Corinthians 34, 22, Hope, Job, 1016, Wonders, poor Job. Um, PSA, what's that? Um, po Psalms? Psalms, that's a good one. Overflow. Proverbs. Forward. Hope. Leave, would just be the words. Officer. Hour. Follow. Flight. Syria. Luke. 2-2. Two, two. Hmm. Grace. Oh, speaking of Syria, um, Germany was going to be taking in 500,000 people a year, they changed their mind Sunday. S quickly. Why? I don't know. But here's the message. I put all these words together. Weep and mourn with sackcloth for the hour of judgment is beginning. The sedacious officers are disobedient and possess grievous sin. Damascus, that's serious. Syria will be wondrous heap of ruins I am just caught taking the words that I got and putting those words into his sentence okay. heaps of ruins there will be no flight in the hour for my remnant my betrothed will not lose hope I bring tidings of grace and overflow for those who abstain from the others who have become scarlet as Rahab the spy follow me I am gracious speak the truth and I will make your path straight thousands will fall at your side I will never leave you you have been baptized in the living waters until the day of your blessed hope returns quickly. As for the flashes of light and the lights up from the sky, from one end to the other, so it will be when the day of the Son of Man comes. That's from Luke. So what the heck, guys? <laughs> Let's talk about rainbows, shall we? Let's jump right to rainbows. I have something else, of course. That's. I don't think it's going to be the end of the world. This year. I know, right? <laughs> we'll get to that. Rainbows. <laughs> Which, you know, I'm usually a big fan of. Yeah, apparently he's a horny goat. This god. Well, maybe before we talk about the divine 
declaration of judgment. Maybe we should talk about 10 things you must know about CERN. Because the 730 days, the September 23, 2015 to the September 23, 2017, this is that rape torture thing. But let's talk about CERN before we jump on, since CERN just had the rainbow, Ceramus, Shiva. And that's why the building has a vagina. Because it's a girl. Anywho. <laughs> and she just got it, called her boyfriend. Her boyfriend seems really pissed off at us right now. Okay, ten things everyone must know about CERN. For those of us that concern ourselves with things off the menu, <laughs> CERN, we know this. But try to ask one of your co-workers, friends, if you guys still have those, or the occasional acquaintance, what they know about CERN. If you dare strike up a conversation with me anywhere, it's a matter of seconds before you're going to be hearing about CERN along with countless other vitally important but rarely known facts about the smorgasbord of prophetic events and utter friggin absurdity, I know it isn't very effective. And I'm not normal. I didn't ask for this. And I realize that the majority of things that I say, I get back a black blank stare <laughs> but not from you guys hopefully anyway you will come away with some questions leading you to some things decision makers that don't want you to know if you come away thinking there's nothing to see at least you have Netflix and football season to begin with in a few weeks CERN created the internet. Seriously, it was not Al Gore. It was CERN. This is not satire, folks. Tim Berner-Lee, a British scientist at CERN, invented the web. 1989. The web was originally conceived and developed to meet the demand for automatic information sharing between scientists in universities and institutes around the world. The first website at CERN and in the world was dedicated to the World Wide Web project itself. It was hosted by Berner Lee's Next NEXT computer. The website describe the basic features of the web, how to access other people's documents, how to set up your own server. The next machine, the original web server, is still at CERN. Now remember, www in Hebrew is vav vav vav. Numerical value is 666. Remember monster energy drinks. And below I have that. Do you want to see this one? Well, it's Vav, sometimes translated as a W. Therefore, WWW is monster. Yes? That's not all, though. That leads us to the 666. CERN logo is 666. For those who say there is more to, there's more than three sixes, look again. There are only three. And the other short lines are actually nines. So let's put it this way. We have three sixes. Then we have two nines. Or three plus three plus three, first nine. Three plus three plus three, second nine. Six, six, six. Oh, and this article is under what you need to know about CERN. The Large Hadron Collider, largest machine ever built, allegedly, 
27 kilometers in length. Stephen Hawkins, this is number four in 10 Things You Must Know, said it's going to blow up the planet. Now, considered by many as the words most for most physicists, Hawking said Higgs has the potential and has the worrisome feature that it could become mega stable at energies above 100 billion giga electron volts. That's GeV. This could mean that the universe will undergo catastrophic vacuum decay with a bubble of a true vacuum expanding at the speed of light. This could happen at any moment and we won't see it coming. <laughs> Those who believe this quote is being used to incite unwanted, unwarranted concern state that levels and power levels to achieve such a catastrophic event is not even possible. No, the world would explode, but the point is here is we're dealing with something that the world's top scientists are expressing concern over. Funded by guess who? The Rothschilds. The most powerful family in the world over the last few hundred years has partnered with CERN. And I have information about that. Google Maps. When September 23rd, 2015 or the official first trumpet, da, da, da. if you enter first trumpet or that date into Google Maps, the result is CERN. Why? She asked questioningly to herself. Seriously, how do you explain this way? And it reminds me of the opening of the gates of hell. The Siri glitch, remember that from last year? When it said, September 23rd, 2015 was the opening of the gates of Hades. Number seven, certain movies. Countless examples in recent movies, television shows, that show the collider, and you can do your own search to find out many. The most overt Example I believe can be seen in the uh, is the upcoming Lego Dimensions movie. Dimensions, it's a portal, it's a big, and I got images. Face Like the Sun YouTube channel has a really good video on this. Okay, number eight. Sorry, guys, CERN is seeking to connect to parallel universes. Haven't. Oh yes, two days ago, on the 13th. CERN said, they said, this is what they were going to do, and you can see a link to the first one of that, if it wasn't taken down, but I've got, I think I've got enough links backing it up. You can see when they say they're going to open dimensions and portals and black holes, that's um, a portal. That's, that's an oh my god moment. They want to connect to another dimension. A realm that those who believe the Bible have known since about the beginning of time. And if you start reading any of the old books, it looks like everybody believes this. Now, one of three strong teams of physicists behind the experiment said that they predict that gravity can link leak into extra dimensions. This is from Dr. Far um, Mur Farzel. It's a real guy. So he said that gravity can leak. They're making holes and they're leaky. That's fine, right? So it can leak in another dimension. If it does, then a miniature black hole will be produced. Normally, people would think of multi of the multiverse. 
They think of many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics where every possibility is actualized. This cannot be tested. And so it is philosophy and not science. This is not what we mean by parallel universes. What we mean is real universes in extra dimensions. Number nine, CERN and dark matter. Approximately 4.9 of the known universe is composed of ordinary matter. That is matter that we can see and touch and feel and manipulate. It is believed that dark matter makes up around 85% of the universe. If you add dark energy to this, you're looking at around 95%. They have already seen apparitions since the restarting of the collider earlier this year. And I've tried my best to scare the crap out of you with them. I do my best. So dark matter, we don't know about. We know it exists, but don't really understand much about it beyond it's really weird. They say un unstable, but to me that sounds like, oh my god, it's really weird. Let's mess with it. Now again, we come back to their stuff we know it's there, but we can't see it. It does exist. It is dangerous, but we need to reach out and touch this thing. So why, why not do the dance of Shiva? The dance of death. The dance of Cali. Because California, Californication is kind of dancing right now. So let's add the god of destruction to the mix for a little spiritual flair to conjure up some dark matter to do the little conjure of sacrifice. Shall we? Shall I tell you the conjure of sacrifice? It's a real thing. To call up Papa Legba. No, I won't do it. I, I have to be drunk to do something that stupid. Not saying that I haven't been drunk enough to do that, because I've done it. You guys have heard me. Anyway, Shiva, God of Destruction. CERN can be seen in a video, which I played, doing the dance of destruction for Shiva. Shiva is the Kappa. Shiva is the new dirty um, building that you've put in the United States. <laughs> Not dirty. But you see the giant statue in front of the CERN headquarters? Putting this together with dark matter. Extra dimension 666 logo. I begin to see there's not many accidents. Why is Shiva at CERN? Why does Shiva and Brahma keep coming up in my stories? Scientists are freaking deliberate, are they not? There's some specific intent going on here. I am not seeing the divine or benign symbols. So anyway, I have no concerns with science. I love science. I am a big fat nerd. But what we are witnessing right now is not science. It is metaphysics, submerged with Eastern mysticism under the cloak of science, smashing particles together. Science, I guess, for sure. Primary objectives far exceed the realms of science here. Begin asking some questions, as you cannot explain all of these bizarre overlaps with coincidence. Look at what is going on through a spiritual lens. Imagine if CERN said, we seek to communicate with entities from other dimensions and just came out, put it on the table and, you know, whipped it out. Well, that's to me what they friggin' said. There's nothing new under the sun. Shamans and mystics have conveyed 
with entities convened from other dimensions. Now the community with the communication with the nether region can be done the global community under the banner of science. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven on the earth. And to him was given the key of the bottomless pit, and he opened the bottomless pit, and there rose a smoke out of the pit as the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. Revelations. Probably nothing, right? <laughs> nothing to see here. Move along. <laughs> I just... I would like not to constantly talk about it, this kind of stuff. Because, you know, Tracy do the news, right? <laughs> Slapping on the desk, Lowe's. <laughs> Rebos, Tisanoa. I am giving you a sign of my covenant with you and all the living creatures to come. I have placed my rainbow in the clouds as signs of my covenant with you. So we're going back to the days of Noah then. With the monsters. Because days of Noah was marked by unnatural, they said, relations. The rejection of God. What did we do? Did we say, no, we are not worshipping you? Who were we having sex with? Why was the new covenant with the rainbow? It can't just be a boy on boy or girl on girl thing. It can't be that. Because... We would have stopped doing that. We like each other. We love each other. We're naughty in this way. But this symbol, I don't know. This gay pride rainbow plastered on government buildings, corporate symbols worldwide now. Meanwhile, CERN conducting experiments in search of dark matter, beginning of the human existence, a little known fact, is that operating theory is that there are rainbow galaxies, that that really exists. That's what they call them, rainbow galaxies. Parallel universe. So, we have rainbows as God's covenant not to destroy humanity with a flood. Rainbows signifying carnal, sinful relations. Hmm. Rainbows as a symbol of pride or the completion of anti-God state of mind and rainbows as a scientific theory that will launch humanity into the next level of achievement or pride squared. It is a bridge. And much of my life I've been pretty indifferent about these things. I could care less. It's not my business unless I'm invited to somebody's bedroom. It's not my damn business. It's not as long as they're not doing it with kids, it's not my business. I thought though, how does this affect anyone else? The real question people should be asking is, why is it in my face everywhere I look? If 1.9% of the entire population claims to be gay, how come one in five couples in movies and television are gay? Why are the rainbow symbols all over the place? If one was an alien from a different galaxy visiting Earth, they would believe at least half of all individuals were gay by the images. What is actually quite rare has been constructed as the norm. I am not speaking bigotry here. I'm talking about they mean something else. 
even the bizarre and horrifying murals in the Denver airport that make no sense to anyone love the rainbow. Why the hell? And yeah, I think it has to do with the gods, Al. Do these horrific paintings all have rainbows in them? Why does this seem, why does this not seem odd to anyone? What does this have to do with gay? Like I said, it has nothing to do with gayness. The same self-righteous hypocrites that champion the cause of the dead lion but ignore 60 million innocent babies slaughtered every year with abortion was legalized are writing the script here. None of this makes sense to anyone who is not blind. But therein lies the problem. We have been blinded. We are under a great deception and it is only through this lens will any of this make sense. June 26, 2015 Supreme Court of United States legalized gay marriage nationwide. On the same day the Vatican signed a treaty with Palestine in which it no longer upholds Israel as the province land of the Bible. Well, the people you threw back into Israel are not those people. So it is not. The people you're killing there are those people. Now again, June 26, 2015 also happened to be the 9th of Tammuz on the Hebrew calendar. 9th of Tammuz was the date that the walls of the first temple were breached by King Nebuchadnezzar, Babylonians. The 9th of Tammuz in Jewish history is known as the date that the walls were breached. Rainbows in the Bible. Rainbow first appeared when God declared it was a symbol of a covenant between him and man. This covenant was a promise that he would never again destroy the world by flood. Surprisingly enough, that's Genesis 9.12 to 15. So this is after 9.11 was going to happen. So we also see the rainbow destroyed in Ezekiel's wheel, who I love. And this is more about something else. The Mount of Hormuz, that he saw the angels going up and down. This is where we get the word harmony, which is harm and money. This God, not a good guy. Anyway, Ezekiel's wheel, like the appearance of the rainbow in the clouds on a rainy day, so was the radiance around him. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. When I saw it, I fell face down, heard the voice of one speaking. And again we see revelations around God's throne. After this, I looked and beheld a door, and it was open to heaven. And the first voice, which I heard as if it were a trumpet talking to me, said, Come hither. And I will show you things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the Spirit. And behold, a throne set in heaven. One sat on the throne. He said, To look upon the jasper and the sardine. And there was a rainbow around the throne shone like unto an emerald. It's God gay. Genesis 9 Revelation 4 the first and the last book of the Bible the Alpha and the Omega this is why I'm bringing this up. Oh crap that's a fast two hours eh? Okay everyone join me Thursday we will go into rainbow who the rainbow warriors are and you will see both sides of this circle and these cycles and this 
wheels on the bus going round and round. I love you guys, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye for now.